Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Five rounds in a unification bout for the featherweight championship of the world. This contender tournament champion comes to Los Angeles on a four-fight winning streak. Here is Kevin Van Nostrand. Kevin Van Ostrand. 17 and 1, 12 wins by knockout, most of them in the spectacular variety. He is unorthodox, he's unpredictable, he's at sometimes outrageous. But Joe, is he good enough to beat Robin Van Roosvall? Well, I think so. He's here because of that. He seems to finish all of his opponents. Is that unorthodox striking that makes him so good. We saw him dominate and have a comeback of the year in 2017 against Anvoy Bornazarov. He got dropped. Seconds later, he threw the knee. So we know he can take a shot. We know he's durable. And this is the moment he's been waiting for his entire life. His debut on the glory stage dates back to glory one in Stockholm, Sweden. He comes, winner of nine of his last ten. Here is Robin Van Roosmalen. One of the most dangerous fighters in glory history. He's wreaked havoc over three weight classes over his career. He's the former lightweight champion of the world, the reigning featherweight champion of the world. He says, I see no fear. Nothing gets into my head. I will demolish Kevin Van Ostrand and prove that he's nowhere near my level. Yeah, and you just can't seem to hurt Van Roosmalen. He's so strong, he's so durable. He'll sit there in the pocket, and what makes him so dangerous is the way he counters. He's got such good, powerful low kicks and very powerful punches. Here's our tail of the tape for this, our main event for the welterweight championship of the world. And the advantages for Van Ostrand jump right off the page. He's four and a half inches taller and has a massive seven inch reach advantage. Looking at professional experience is Van Roosmalen. He has 18 glory fights and 46 professional fights. Van, Van Ostrand's only with 18, but He's gonna come forward and has a lot of confidence. Let's look at our fight metrics for this world title fight. Average fight time. Van Roosman usually takes a little longer to do his work, although he does have five round fights under his belt. Van Estrand likes to get in, wreak havoc, and get out. Championship rules, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go five three minute rounds. Punches, kicks, and knees with illegal strikes. No elbows, throws, or sweeps. Three knockdowns in a round, four in the fight, and it's a TKO. This championship bout will be scored using the 10-point must system. We're starting with knockdowns, followed by damage, followed by clean scoring strikes with an emphasis on spectacular technique. Finally, if there's no clear advantage, judges are looking for aggression. Now let's take a look at my keys to glory for these gentlemen. For Van Roosmalen, do what he does best, and that's pressure fight. Control the center of the ring, keep countering back, and look to land his low kicks and power punches. Where Van Ostrand needs to use his footwork, stay away from the ropes in the corners, mix up his strike selection, especially use his knee against Robin's forward pressure, and make sure he stays off those ropes. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event of the evening features an interim champion looking to turn his silver to gold and a champion determined to hold on to his precious medal and prove once and for all that all others are second best. This bout sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission 
in cooperation with the ISKA. Their president, Corey Schaefer, is with us ringside. The five judges scoring this bout, Cecil Peoples, Michael Bell, Jack Reese, Zacharatos Garasimos, and Max DeLuca. And at the opening bell, your referee, Big John McCarthy. From Los Angeles to London, glory kickboxing fans are watching in over 180 countries around the world. It's time for glory. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a WKA USN World Muay Thai champion. His professional record, 17 wins with just one loss, 12 of those wins coming by knockout. At 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, he weighed in at 142 and one half pounds, 64.7 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Syracuse, New York, he is the reigning interim featherweight champion of the world, Kevin Van Nostrand. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner. The only man to win the belt in two different glory divisions. His professional record, 39 wins with seven losses and 21 of those wins by knockout. At five feet six and one half inches, 1.69 meters. He weighed in at 142 and one half pounds, 64.6 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, the reigning and defending glory featherweight champion of the world, Ruben Pokerface Van Roosmalle. Once again, your referee in charge, John McCarthy. Kevin, Kevin. Kevin, I'm bending over the rules in the back. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. When I tell you to stop, I want you to stop. Fight clean, fight hard, but fight fair. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good luck to both of you. Roman Van Roosmullen said Kevin Van Ostrand has a better chance of winning the lottery than beating me tonight. Can Van Ostrand cash in on the biggest moment of his career? The welterweight, or rather the featherweight right, championship ready? of the world ready? is on the line. Here Watch. we go, five rounds. Van Roosmullen in the white gloves. Van Ostrand in the black. Yep, and it's gonna be how is Van Ostrand gonna deal with Robin's pressure? And that's the key to this fight. It's the story behind it. Those knees will keep Van Roosmullen oh, at bay. That's what Break. put his last opponent away. Anvar Boy Nazarov could not take that Van Ostrand knee. As Banastran likes to come out aggressively, he throws a lot, tries to move. He's going to blitz. You're going to see him throw back fists, spinning kicks. That's what he talks about, being throwing things outside of the box. Many people in the know, Joe, which includes you, believes Ben Ostrand's best path to victory is a knockout in the first or second round. Yeah, Robin can stay calm, and he'll keep pressuring. And he's going to take you into the deep waters in the later rounds. That's where his pressure fighting pays advantage, his low kicks. You'll see him rip the body really well. High knee for Ben Ostrand, then he goes up top with a kick. There's that unorthodox striking. All those athletic moves do take energy, though. And this is a five-round fight. But I like what Van, Van Ostrand does is he's going to keep his distance and try to use his knee when Robin's coming in. That, to me, is one of his best strikes to land. But we've seen Van Roosmalen, too. When many guys have tried that knee, and he counters with his punches. He's knocked out many opponents trying to knee him. The right hand popped the nose of Van Roosmalen, and blood is coming out. A good round one so far for the challenger. But we know that Van Roosmalen can take a lot of abuse. He's made of iron. He's beaten the world's best at 170 pounds, 155, and now is doing it as a featherweight. Robin's gone five rounds. Probably in his last 10 fights, where this is still new to, to Kevin Van Ostrand. So let's see if it makes it to those four and fifth rounds. 
We saw Matt Embry come out and start well against Van Roosmalen, and eventually he wilted away. Most of them do. Those low kicks from Van Roosmalen are starting to land. Van Roosmalen told us that he's never seen a fighter with skinnier legs than Kevin Van Ostrand. We knew Van Roosman was going to take a few punches early on, but right now his face is showing a lot of wear and tear. You're holding. Ruben really trying to use his counter punches, which is a good strategy. Nice back fist from Van Ostrand. Work, it's all right. Step back, step back, step back, fight. A lot of tension between these two fighters in these two camps. In fact, I'm told tonight there was a skirmish backstage between the trainer of Van, of, uh, Van Roosmalen, his father, and the manager for Van Ostrand. They had to be pulled apart. And yeah, there's been a lot of talk and tension between the two, which was a good buildup to this fight. Left hand in there for Van Roosmalen. There's the end of round one. A good round as Van Roosmalen nods as, as if to say, okay, let's fight. Yeah, good first round from, from Van Ostrom. It's The key is, can he sustain this for four more rounds? Here's a look at the damage that Van Estram was able to put on the Dutch fighter. Yeah, he kept trying to mix stances coming in. The corner and the, the game plan for, for Kevin must have been to use his knees. He's been trying to reach for it, but he needs to keep his head defensive. I'd say about three minutes and 40 seconds. So round two here for the featherweight championship of the world. Round one, a very good one for Kevin Van Ostrand. And according to Vegas, Robin Van Roosman, a seven to one favorite. Massive odds in his favor, but right now the American more than holding his own. Yeah, he's doing really well that first round. Like I said earlier, can Van Ostrand keep this pace? Let go, step back, go. Because Van Roosman is gonna keep pressuring like this for five rounds. Oh, Van Estran eats a right oh, hand. Go after him, go after him. Let's your hands are free. Go, there you go. Stop. And this is what we've seen before from Robin oh. Van Roosman. He'll get you in the corner and just maul at you. Yep, like I said, it's a very basic style, but so effective. Van Estran promised us that he'd have lots of surprises. Van Roosman said, I don't need hands surprises. Free, you know go. what I'm going to do, and stop. I dare you to stop me. Nice body kick from Kevin. We haven't seen much from his spinning attack. But we know it's there. Yeah, it's hard to spin against Van Roosman because he's always in your face. He doesn't give you that room to, to spin. And if you do, he's going to close distance right away and hit you with punches. Kevin Van Ostrand trying to become the first American male to win a full Glory World title. Of course, Tiffany Van Seuss, American female, became the first ever Glory hey, Women's man, Super up, Bantamweight champion. Go, throw. I saw 
solid low kick from Van Roosmalen. You could hear that one. And he's content keeping his defense tight up top and then attacking the legs. Overhand right from Van Roosmalen. Much better round from him. Yeah, the pressure is starting to come. No matter how hard you hit poker face, he's going to stand right in front of you. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Robin get rocked once. Very tough chin, strong defense. He's never really hurt in any of his fights. Seems like the best weapon so far in this fight for Van Ostrand has been his knee. Yeah, go, really well. Go, go. And he's also go, his activity, too. He's not waiting Box. too long. He's striking. He's being first. He's trying to hit, move, and counter back. Watch your head. Stop. No. No. Box. Yeah. Box. Go. A better round for the Dutchman, for sure. Yeah, definitely a better round for him. His pressure fighting starting to go. His low kicks are starting to land a little bit better now. between the two. Van Roosmalen with a nice overhand right. And Ostrand doing that good job at hitting and moving. Still avoiding a lot of the power punches from Van Roosmalen. Still think the best weapon from Van Roosmalen so far has been his low kicks. Van Roosmalen told us there's no way Van Ostrand makes it to the end of round three. Let's see if he was right. Scheduled for five. This is a world title fight. Round one, a good one for Van Ostrand. Round two, much better for Van Roosmal. Hit and move. Van Roosmalen beginning to chop away at the front leg, the right leg of Van Ostrand. Kevin's corner asking him to keep his distance, touch and move. You don't want to stay in mid range with Van Roosmalen, especially if you have a seven inch reach advantage. Surprised we haven't seen more unorthodox attacks from Ben Ostrand. Well, like I said, in my keys to glory, it's Roman's pressure. It shuts down that unorthodox striking. Just like oh, that. A right hand, and that is a knockdown. No, no, no. Big John McCarthy looked like he was going to score a knockdown. Changed his mind. And that high kick from Ben, ben, ben Roosmalen connects as well. Oh, and a right hand lands. This is the Van Roosmalen style. Everything's connecting now for Poker Face. Hit the body, hit the head, go back to the legs. More knees from the American. Nice flurry from Van Roosmalen. Side low kick. The momentum has certainly shifted. Big kick there from Van Roosmalen. That's a lot of experience from Van Roosmalen. He's starting to show. His knees are still landing though. Yep. You have to think Van Roosmalen's taking. Kicks off the arms, he fought Sidichai twice. He's taking knees from Sidichai, kicks off the arm. Catch Panama lit him up. Yep. And 
just keeps coming forward. So durable. And a strand might be in a little trouble here in the corner. Smart move to clinch up. You can't stay there. You got to clinch up. And that is the end of round three. So despite Van Roosmalen's prediction, Van Estrand will see the fourth round, but there may have been a knockdown in that third round. John McCarthy thought long and hard about it. Yeah, it, it was very tough. It's, but that's why when you asked me about why can't Van Estrand land his spin kicks, it's because that pressure. As soon as that spin kick came, Robin came in, closed the distance, and good call on John McCarthy. That You're was right. definitely not a knockdown. Good call. He even blocked the punch. It was just a hit to an arm. He was off balance and went down. But well, you can see how that forward pressure shuts down those spin attacks. As soon as he saw him spinning, Van Roosmalen shut that distance down and threw his punches. This is where Van Roosmalen started opening up with his punches. Van Estrain had to hold on to Robin to survive the round. So how does Van Nostrand get control back in this fight? Well, it's tough. He's going to have to try to keep hitting and moving, try to keep switching stances, try to take the low kick away from Van Roosmalen. He's got to stay away from those corners. Yeah. He's got to stay away. Made a left hand. But easier said than done. There you go. Hit and move on angles. Don't stay there. Nice knee down the middle. Low kick was spun Venno Strand around. Oh, hold on, Kev. Let go, both of you. Let go, back off. Oh, Riders need to be careful. The referee's not going to break it up. You can push off and strike, just like RVR just did. Just missing with the right hand was Van Roosmal. The seven to one favorite in this world title fight. Good body shot, which crumbled Van Ostrand over for a second. Yeah, that hurt him. This is what Robin's going to do. He always finds that liver, then he finishes to the head. You've seen it over and over again from him. You can see the grimace on Van Ostrand's face, that body shot still lingering in, in his system. Yeah, this is when Van Roosmalen can use his low kicks. And then maybe attack upstairs with his punches. Still crouched over is Van Ostrand. Gonna have to try and fight his way out of this. There's a right hand that connects. And you see Van Roosmalen's experience, staying really patient. A lot of fighters would get overly aggressive there. But he's saving his gas tank, setting up his punches. That's experience. Let's go, step back, let's go. I really like how John McCarthy's letting that clinch go. He's not breaking it up right away. He's letting guys play and fight in there, pushing off, attacking. Vanostrand looking for a breather, but you'd never find one when you're in there against Poker Face. And he's just backing himself in the corners. His, his liver is just one shot away. Manistrand goes back to the knee. It's always there for him, but Van Roosman's been able to walk through it. Oh, he found the body again. Oh, and you can see the deep breaths now for Van Ostrand. Can he make it out of round four? He can. Three minutes to go. Beautiful round for Van Roosman. And just the experience really started to take over. The pressure fighting is just too much for Van Ostrand. It wears you down. Let's look at some of the work from Van Roosmalen in round four. Yeah, he just slipped that knee. And when Van Roosmalen's coming in, he's coming in on an angle because he knows those knees are coming. And then he came in and just landed that beautiful left hook to the body. This is where he stays patient. Continues to use his pressure. Head. Then 
Trying to set up that body. Touch, touch to the head, rip to the body. And there was the liver punch, and credit to Van Ostrand for not going down there. A lot of fighters would have. Absolutely. Well, Joe, he's got to find some way to basically knock out Wilbin Van Roosman if he wants to win this fight. Yeah, this is where he's got to get outside of that box he was talking about. Try that spinning back fist, try those front kicks, flying knees, something. And at the same time, avoid getting slugged right in the liver again. I'm not sure he can take another punch. Yeah. There's a punch to the face. Yeah, you got to think. Van Ostrand is now protecting the liver. So this is the time for Van Roosman to go upstairs with that left hook. Strands corner yelling, dig deep. Think of all the hours, hundreds of hours of training both these fighters put into this. Yeah, lay it out there, Kevin. True to form. And Roos Mullen basically gave up round one in order to win round two, three, and four. Yep, and that, it's just been all Van Roos Mullen now. But Kevin's still coming forward. He's attacking. He's throwing his knees. He hasn't given up. Showing good heart, good durability. Kick to the body for Van Roosman, now upstairs to the head. He wants to finish, he wants to knock this cocky American out. <laughs> 90 seconds to go here. Featherweight championship of the world on the line. Hard right, inside low kick from RVR. Get up that high. A yeah. knee right to the chin. That liver was open for a second. And even Van Ostrand's knee can still do damage. If Roman's coming forward and he meets Kevin's knee, it's not going to take much. Straight right hand. Roosman, just so durable. And there was a liver shot round. as well. A shot to the liver slipped in there by Van Roosman. Yeah, you saw that from Kevin's face. 30 seconds to go. Back to the liver again goes Van Roosman. And Van Ostrand forced to cover it up. He's running away, but there's nowhere to go. Will he get the finish? Let's see what Kevin's going to do in this last 10 seconds. Robin Van Roosmalen, outside of round one, a fairly dominant performance. That's why he's one of the pound for pound best fighters in the world today. Yep, absolutely. And most people think they have an answer to this pressure and these constant counter attacks and low kicks, but Van Roosmalen is just so durable over five rounds. It's just amazing to see, and that's why he's one of the pound for pound best kickboxers. The official decision. When we return to Glory 52 LA. GloryShop.com is your stop for all things Glory kickboxing. Represent your favorite world class strikers and get your own t shirts, hoodies, hats training gear, and more. Join your favorite fight club and get your glory gear today. GloryShop.com. Tradition. Style. Glory. We're back in Long Beach, California. The Featherweight World Championship bout has been completed. It went the full five rounds. We await the decision, but Joe, let's jump into some highlights and outside of round one it was pretty much all about Van Roosmal. Yeah, and Kevin did a good job trying to land his knees, be unorthodox with his back fist and spinning kicks. 
and he was able to hit and move. That was the key for him in that first round. He was able to strike, land some good strikes in the middle, move his feet. But in round two, Van Roosman's pressure started to come alive. We saw him able to pressure, land his low kicks better. Closing distance like that really shut down Van Roosman, uh, sorry, Kevin Van Ostrand's spectacular offense. And then the low kicks. And then all of a sudden, Van Roosman started to find his body punches on the inside. Mixing up levels really well. Was able to force Kevin into the corners, which is what Van Nostrand was trying to do the entire fight. But this is why he's one of the best. You're going to see him come forward with that basic style. He ain't moving backwards. He's tough. He's durable. And he's patient. He can go five rounds with the best. And all of his fights have been five rounders. So you knew as the fight went on, it was Van Roosmalen's fight. There, Van Roosmalen showing some knees of his own. And he hurt. Many of us thought Van Nostrand was going to go down from those body shots, but showed a lot of heart and toughness to survive a full five rounds with Van Roosmalen. Certainly nothing to be ashamed of as far as the performance goes from Kevin Van Ostrand. He did his best tonight. It just doesn't appear to be enough as we look at the strikes landed by zone. Van Roosmalen with a ton of punches to the head and a ton of kicks to the legs. Who's your featherweight champion? We're about to find out as we send it into the ring in Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's look at the totals from our five ringside judges. One judge scores about 48-47. The remaining four all see it 49-46. A unanimous decision for your winner. And still, glory featherweight champion of the world, Robin Van Roosmalen. Here to present the belt, glory chief executive officer, Mr. Marshall Zelaznik. Robin, congratulations. That belt sure does look good on you. You, I know we're going for the knockout so bad tonight. Go ahead and rate your performance for me. Uh, I think my performance, uh, I give it a nine out of 10. Kevin is a really tricky opponent. He's got a really awkward style. So in the beginning, we were careful and he surprised me sometimes still. But I feel like after the first round, I dominate every round. I hurt him every round. And there's only one king in the division and that's me. Were you surprised by how much damage he could endure from you? Uh, yeah, he's a tough cookie. He can take. I, I have to admit that, but uh, I'm on a different level. I told you before, you got levels here, and I showed it tonight. You're now tied with Rico Verhoeven for the most wins in glory. You've held two belts. What's next for you? Is there another weight class in store? Uh, you never know. Uh, I'm up for every challenge, so glory, give me a ring. I want to come back in the ring as soon as possible. Congratulations, Robin. Long Beach, your champion. Give it up. Nine out of 10, usually he's his toughest critic. How would you rate Robin Van Roosmalen's performance tonight, Joe? Well, I'm gonna give it maybe an eight out of a 10. I would have given him a higher rating if he would have got the finish, because I think um, a good rating needs a good finish, but he's just so dominant and continue to punish everyone they put in front of him, and no one's really been able to push him all five rounds.